on a beautiful Monday morning as I lay there on the couch attempting to text all my side chicks. Some of them are playing around, so I must let them know how I feel. So we're gonna just send this text away. And they respond, of course, as they love me, so you know, nothing unusual. Well, you know what? I think I'll just leave her on red. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. So this one's kind of ugly, so we're gonna just let her know how I feel about her. So we're gonna send that through. And then let's maybe go on Instagram. So let's check out what the street speed guy is doing. A eh, bunch of photos, a bunch of jeeps. Ooh, what is that? A red eye. Interesting. Let's see what's happening. Whoa, it says 900 horsepower. Hmm. That must be fast. Just, ooh. So this video is live. Okay, so he must have posted it. Huh get out of these ugly pictures let's go watch the video so let's see oh there it is click on it well let's do this little survey for him you know i want him to kind of make money so let's support street speed with this channel so let's get it going so i had to grab a chair once i seen it was a race i just get excited about things like that i got my bottle of water because i know it's just gonna be so good I'm ready to go through this and I just want to remind everyone this is not personal I am simply reacting to the race not the people not the youtubers the race Okay, so don't take none of this personally so without talking too much Let's get to the video and see what they're doing over here. I know you got an exhaust GT us And I know you're tuned. Yeah, it's tuned. um stock. They do like 710 to the, the wheels. wheels. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, so mine with the GT Haas put down like 733. Wow. Uh, and okay. then Diablo Sport said. Oh, pause, pause, pause. Diablo Sport. I didn't know people still use Diablo Sport. You know, like this is not 2010. I would absolutely never use Diablo Sport. They're just pure garbage, honestly. Like, no disrespect to them, but they're just now. Everyone uses HP tuners. I'm not sure why he's using Diablo Sport, but I'm worried now. I'm worried now that he's using Diablo Sport. But let's continue the video and see what else he does. Their can tune, they dyned it, they were consistent at 54 wheel. So it's safe to say I'm about 785, 790. A lot wheel. of okay. speculations. About 200 pounds less than the Charger. This car really? is definitely not that wow. fast. I'm 200 pounds lighter. Yeah, I might. Uh, Look at Mike. I Look might at be Mike. In trouble. I'm not going to lie. He's in trouble. No, you're not. 755 at the crank. But it only weighs 3,700. Around 640, 650 wheel ish. Okay. Um, but yeah, 3,700 versus 4,300. Uh, both 44 flat. Okay, 4,400. The, the Charger's almost 46. It's a okay. little bit lighter. Okay. Um, this car full interior is about the same weight as the Charger fully gutted. Okay. So when I raced you gutted, this car is going to perform about the same, and I don't even have a pulley on it. No, I think it'll be, so we're talking like 850, no. 900 crank. No, Mike. I mean, yeah, no, Mike, let's not lie to okay. each other. Somewhere in there. This car so is basically is, stock. Mike, do you wow. think 125 horsepower is enough to make up for 500 pounds, 600 pounds? I we'll think see. It, uh, yeah, I do. I think I think it is. How much weight would I have to have on you for the 125 to be negated? I don't know. I just, I just, I feel the zero one's not that light or aerodynamic either. So it's not like the McLaren, I would Okay, anyways, uh, so basically I'm going to skip through all this and let's just get to the racing. That's the most important part. So... Let's see how it goes. The red eye should take it. If it's making 900 crank, there should be absolutely no reason the red eye should lose. I mean, absolutely no reason. Even in reverse, if it's making 900 crank, it should be beating the ZR1. Like, any role possible. But I don't think it's making nowhere near 900. Number one, that tune is a BS tune. It's 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 not gonna give him 53 wheel horsepower. That's just delusional. So uh, let's let's watch the race now. 50 roll. Oh my. It's not 
kind of wheel. Oh my god, Mike. Mike just destroyed him. So I might be doing another one. Let's see what this one is. It's, oh, and we say bye bye. Replay. I hate you, Mike. <laughs> he goes bye bye. Second round. You want to do 50 and I'll beep? Sure. Why is the Hellcat missing your shift? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out. Let's, 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 let's rewind. I don't remember anyone stating that the red eye is a manual. What? What is he? What? How is he missing a shift? Now, I, I've had enough of the video. Um, we're done watching the video. Um, I think that's all we needed to see. Now let's talk about what is exactly going on. Like <sighs> that. That was a very, very like just hurt. It hurt me to watch that, to, to see a Mopar get taken down like that. So, let's go back to the shifting part. Like, you should be absolutely not shifting the car on your own at all. Okay, nobody can outshift an automatic. I don't understand why some people want to sit there and try to shift their car on their own. You don't need to do that. Let the car work. You have one of the best automatics out there the eight-speed auto in those Hellcats is just pure cr like just nasty honestly so you just let it do what it's supposed to do you don't sit there and try to outshift it and act like you could shift better than it you don't do that I don't think I've ever done that in my life okay and listen I know a few things about being fast I mean I did have a mid nine second Hellcat and it made 900 wheel actual real numbers not just speculations and you guys have seen me take it to the track i've made nothing but nine second passes in that car and i know a few things about hellcats i can tell you one thing that that hellcat is nowhere near 900 crank number one an exhaust and tune is not gonna give you the horsepower that he just said 125 extra horsepower that is pure delusional and i think i need a drink of water because i can't believe i just heard that I can't, I can't believe I just heard that. Wow. That's like saying uh, you get 30 wheel horsepower out of an intake. That's exactly what that sounds like. You, you don't get that much horsepower. Like I don't care what it says on the intake box or the exhaust box. You don't usually get that horsepower actually put down on an actual dyno. Okay. You know, because as you see, the red eye performed like pure shit. Shit, honestly, like no disrespect, but like if you're making anywhere near 900 crank, you should absolutely destroy that ZR1. I mean, just absolutely just destroy it. And another thing here is like he did come without tires, which is a big no no. Like, if you're going out to race, you need tires, okay? You need some sort of drag radials so you can hook, you know? Like, you don't want to go out there and make the Mopar community look bad, okay? Like, you have to be prepared. You need a set of drag radials, whether they're Mickeys, whether they're Nittos, anything that will help you hook from a roll, especially if you're claiming you're not stock. So, it just, it just it bothers me that... You know, this red eye came unprepared. And also, another thing. A red eye has no business doing a 50 roll, okay? Now, a 40 roll is the perfect, perfect roll for the red eye, right? But, you can't do that because you, you don't have tires. Now, I say to do at least maybe a 60 roll. A 50 roll is just not a practical roll for the red eye. And you see how good of a roll that is for the ZR1. 
And that's why the ZR1 just completely destroyed it. I mean, it just, I mean, it wasn't even a race. I mean, you couldn't even see the red eye after. You couldn't. As soon as it was one, two, three, Mike started pulling away and then you, you couldn't see it anymore. As a racer, I'm not blaming Street Speed for trying to do a role that's only good for him. He knows that a 50 year old is terrible for, for the Hellcat. I mean, he had a Hellcat before, but I'm not blaming him. I blame the other person. When you come to race someone, you have to you know, ask for what you want. You ask for your favorite role. You ask for the roles that are good for your car. You know, you, you don't just follow their lead and go do what roles they want to do because obviously if I'm over here racing some guy and it's on YouTube, why would I do something that's good for you? I'm going to do my roles, right? That's kind of what Mike was doing. He was doing 50 roles because he knows his vet performs at its best at a 50 roll. So he was doing 50 rolls, knowing that it's not good for the Hellcat whatsoever. But the Hellcat couldn't do a good roll because it didn't have tires. It would have spun just like it spun from a 50 roll. So it was just, just oh man, I, I couldn't watch this video. I, I was so mad that, you know, some people go out there unprepared for a race like this because there's a lot of people. A lot of people got their eyes on this race. I mean, Mike got over 300,000 views. So you got 300,000 people that now think a modified red eye has no chance with a ZR1, a stock ZR1. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just like, it's crazy to watch. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a kid who had a midnight second Hellcat that ran really, really well and performed really well on only being 16 pounds of boost. So. Like I said, I think I know a few things about a Hellcat, and it, it, it was just sad to see this race. A lot of people out here make Mopars look bad, okay? You know, you must be prepared, you must do your homework, and people worry so much about horsepower numbers. They inflate their numbers. Like, I don't understand. Why would you do that? Let's say I had a thousand horsepower car, right? Let's say a thousand crank horsepower. I'm gonna say it's 900 crank because at least if I lose, it makes sense. But if I'm over here claiming my car makes a thousand horsepower, right? And I'm getting my ass handed to me by an 800 horsepower car, then I look stupid because I decided to just inflate my numbers and say my car makes more than it really, really does. We gotta stop reading what manufacturers tell us that we we're gonna get out of a certain part, okay? An exhaust on a tune on a Hellcat was not gonna give you 124 horsepower, 125 horsepower. So we have to be realistic at, you know, at sometimes. And, and like, the, I knew this was going wrong completely when I heard that the red eyes using a Diablo Sport, which is like I don't I don't know who that has a Hellcat that uses it honestly, because HP tuners is at the top of their game. They are honestly like the best way to go. You you, you go with HP tuners, like you know I don't care about horsepower numbers. I don't care about any of that. I care about track times, and it, my Hellcat performed just perfect with such simple mods and it was only on 16 pounds of boost I was able to run it a midnight second run HP tuners not Diablo Sport Diablo Sport is pure garbage you need to go and use HP tuners and listen a full exhaust is not a mod okay like you know my Hellcat definitely did not have a full exhaust I had no cats and mid pipes and that was only because at a certain point I was running race fuel so the cats were getting clogged up I had to get rid of them so when people do these you know mods they're not really performance mods you're not gonna become faster at all from an exhaust like let's just be honest I don't care what the manufacturer says you know that means absolutely nothing I do mods to be fast at the track and usually if you're fast at the track you could hang with some cars off a roll because, you know, that's kind of what I like to do. I like to make sure my car has mods that actually work. Like, not just horsepower. Because anything can put down horsepower. But it has to perform to what the horsepower numbers say. I just wanted to make this video to kind of react to this, uh, this video that Street Speed posted. And, you know, no disrespect to either side. Obviously, I, I 
talk to Street Speed, we text and you know, we are good, you know, like I said, it's not personal. I just wanted to make this video to kind of kind of give more backstory to this to this video. Like this is not how a red eye that supposedly 900 crank should perform versus a stock ZR1. Absolutely not. Like like as a Mopar fan, I'm very disappointed, but it's all good. Um, I'm going to race street speed once my red eye gets here, and obviously I'm going to do a crazy build on my red eye. I don't see anyone out there doing anything like what I'm going to do. I, don't, I didn't see anyone really doing anything with their Hellcat um, that actually made it out alive. You know, a lot of people did their little Hellcat builds, and a lot of them blew up. So I had the one Hellcat that actually ran really good times and stayed alive while running very safe. So, um, like I said, stay tuned. My red eye has been ordered and it should be here pretty soon and we're gonna go out there, race street speed, we're gonna fucking kick his ass. I already texted him saying, round two, I'm gonna kick your ass. So it's all love and games, you know, he's the homie, so we're gonna go out there and have some fun and I'm gonna actually show you guys how an actual red eye will perform because I always, always show up prepared especially to a race that's gonna be viewed by 300,000 and plus people like you know you gotta be prepared you know so with that being all said you know shout out to both people for getting that race done because it was super awesome and entertaining to watch these are just a few pointers from me and I feel like I'm very credible to speak on this topic because you know I've raced my cars for I mean I have over 200 videos of strictly racing I've ran my cars at the drag strip and everything so I think I know a few things about what I'm talking about but I'm gonna let you guys go so if you guys like today's video give it a big thumbs up if you're new to this channel smash the subscribe button let me know what you guys think do you guys agree with me do you guys not but the only option is to agree with me because I'm speaking nothing but facts and a lot of Mopar people in the community will definitely agree with me now my side chick is texting me so you know what that means I gotta let you guys go have an awesome day make sure you guys stay blessed peace out